Hello YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to my campaign. I'm playing with Queen Kalida, High Queen Kalida, on Legendary, on the Eye of the Vortex campaign map. And it's the faction is the Tomb Kings, because the Rise of the Tomb Kings just came out today. And it's a really cool campaign. Legendary is, of course, quite difficulty, but I'm sure together we can do it. Now, I didn't end the turn, but I did do some things in this turn while recording, but something went wrong. So I had to delete that. But I'm gonna explain to you what I did. I had a general over here, King uh, Kabash or something, but I re replaced him with King Wakaf, who I just... I uh, researched him here in the Dynasty Technology Tree. And he's quite good. He has the attribute to stalk. I don't think you want this guy to stalk you. Like when you're out in the street shopping. And this guy's walking behind you. Because look at his face. He is really really ugly. Uh, we are building some more chariots over here. Which is nice. And we're going to keep him here for a little bit. Uh, as long as... Uh, as if they don't attack me or do some things that I don't trust in the next one or two turns, I'm gonna send them really quickly down south to reinforce Queen Kalida. Because she's all by herself here, surrounded by enemies. I could go for the Sentinels of Time, but we're gonna have a rebellion very soon, so I have to keep her there for now, which is really unfortunate. But not much to do about that. Uh, you didn't really miss anything here, so that's all you guys. I think you're up to speed now, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, end that turn, shall we? Oh, before I forget, I put the music on of the game. I put it on off a long time ago. I totally forgot that this game even has music, but I thought it would be a nice extra for you guys. Maybe a little bit more exciting, and the music is quite nice, though. Yeah, there that rebellion is coming. Okay, we got a little bit more money. It's going quite well with my income now. It's go slowly, slowly. Just slowly uh, going up. But it can't really go down a lot. Uh, of course, if I lose a city or, or something, it will go down. But my units uh, don't cost anything, so it won't go down like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna, let's see, not too sure about these guys. It is, they are friendly and it is stable right now. I am trading with them, so they have something to lose. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. So I think I'm just gonna send this army back. Uh, let's not make a unit, that will only cost time. Send them all the way down south to help out here. Uh, he can probably deal with these rebellious armies while Queen Kalida will continue her campaign. That would be nice. Let's see, how's the garrison? The garrison is shit. Really, really shit. So she can't really leave there for now. Right. Yeah, not much to do for now. Let's end the turn again.
Well, this rebellious army is quite fast. We could fight them, but it would only be a waste of our time. Yeah, these guys are really, really weak though. Let's just try it. Let's fight them off. See if we can do it. Die. We get this really cool elite unit and he could help out a lot. Then this battle could go our way. Because it, it, this, is, this is a really small battle, but really small and weak. I mean, uh, having one elite unit in here could help a lot. We will get him if I lose 500 units. Which is uh, <laughs> most of my army, so I'm not sure if I can get it. But we'll see, we'll see. Put this on fast forward. What I want to do here is uh, deck his slingers and his night runners for now. So let these guys charge in there. We have the uh, same amount of units, but they do have one leader. Uh, look at these lions fighting each other. Oh, it does seem that they have a leader with some nice spells, did a lot of damage here, that's unfortunate, and he's hiding somewhere up here, so I can't really shoot him, let's uh, put you a little bit front, alright, I'm killing off their Skaven Slingers, but my infantry is also losing over here. Another spell came in there, destroying what's left of my infantry. But those guys are fleeing, so now we can focus our force on these night runners. Who I want to take out quickly. Yeah, these guys are crumbling, but they're holding on for now. The morale of these guys is still quite good. Uh, they're coming back. It's too bad. They're fleeing again. Let's start shooting their infantry units. Yeah, they're crumbling again. That spell did it. Alright, taking out some clan rats. That's good. They do not like that at all. We can just hold on until the... Ushatabi will arrive. Then we have, uh, then we have a chance. And this guy really needs to die, but I need to shoot his missile units as well. Oh, look at that! A lot of his uh, units are now fleeing. Didn't expect that. Only his leader is still the strongest unit over here. And he's still holding on. But my archers are doing a really good job as always. Gotta love him. Now let's shoot at them. You start shooting at them. Please just keep strong spells my way. Right, we are at tier 2. Only 200 more units need to die. That's all of my infantry units. And then we get those elite units. But maybe they're gonna break before that. Let's see. I'm almost out of arrows though, that's a problem. All of my infantry units are... Oh no, they're not crumbling anymore, that's good. Got some of their morale back. 
Okay, these guys will not be seeing back again. Can't really shoot him because all of my infantry units are in there. So we're just gonna let them stand over here and just start shooting all of the units that are coming back. So they don't stand a chance. Oh, they're dying with the, with the hundreds. Alright, they're not coming back, that's good. They're not coming back. Now last of their infantry units. Let, let's make sure he doesn't come back as well. Yes, you are doomed. That's for sure. Right, his morale is getting pretty low as well. They're still not uh, fully broken, still not shattered. That's a shame. All right, let's get you guys out of there and use the last of my arrows, arrows to just damage him a little bit. Oh, that was the last of my arrows. <laughs> Really didn't have a lot there. Alright, he is going to get some kills, but it doesn't matter because 50 more and we get the Ushap Ushapti. We should easily kill them off. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, there they are. Great. Oh, I think they just got... Ah! <laughs> oh, that was so close, guys. Just too late. After the, my infantry was gone, my archers just couldn't hold on anymore and they shattered. I think I could have won this if I did a, a little bit different, a little bit better. This lord really did it here. That's unfortunate. Too bad, next time. We'll get them next. Yeah, they looted our settlement. And they took it. Now we have some Skaven rebels over there, but... King Warkov will be dealing with them. Not enough warm stone. Yeah, I can't really see what, what the garrison here is, but... I, I, I first want the whole of this province. So we're just gonna go up there and probably let them take uh, the southern sentinels. I don't mind. I want uh, Chipayotol because it's the main city in this province. Right, we got the royal barracks. This means we can get the tomb guards. Tomb guards with the halberds. I only can get two of them at the moment and one halberd unit. So I have to figure out how we divide them. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's it sounds easy not having upkeep and stuff, but you really have to manage the few elite units you have and divide them over your armies, because otherwise you just have this w one really strong army, like I have a little bit now. And King Wakov looks looks really strong, but these units aren't worth shit. The only guys in here that are a little bit good are the chariots and his archers. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what Skaven's uh, going to do. Yeah, well, that did not surprise me at all. Does surprise me though that they didn't take it. Now we got this enemy lord in our territory. That's not good. Oh, it's not an enemy, I mean, but still it's not good to have him there.
All right, dynasty research, that's good. Getting my chariots are getting better and my Nakahara warriors as well. Let's see what else we can do. Could get this, get another Tom Prince like Hans. But I don't really want to spend my money on this at the moment. So we're just gonna... This is for my archers and my horsemen. Some more capacity. Yeah, it's all the same here. It's just capacity. These guys up here, these are all... Okay, I'm figuring this out. I'm slowly figuring this out. So these are all uh, Tom Kings, special Tom Kings, which I can get. And these are some really nice campaign, you know, economic stuff, buffs like that, which would be really nice to have. Like this one, it's really great. Public order plus two. Income from settlements plus 10%. So that's really good. But most of these are for units I'm not going to have soon. Except for the carry-ons, which would be nice to level them up. Let's see. This is art. This is archers and horsemen. But that would be really good to have as well. Road would not be too bad to have. Just let. Let's just go for this. I'm just gonna do it in order. I think how it's supposed to go. Doesn't really really matter. Right. Hi, Queen Kalida. Let's go up here. It's probably escape an army in here as well. Yep. They even got a nice wall, a little wall going there. So let's build a Tom King battering ram. Would be cool to see how that looks like. Damaged buildings. Yeah, this will cost me a lot of money. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Ah, damn it. Shouldn't have leave that so easily. Now these guys are getting closer and closer to the enemy. I need Kajaks back. Maybe it was such a good idea to leave the Satan Sentinels. I just had to leave Queen High Queen Kalida there and defend it. But I didn't do it because sometimes I don't make the best decisions. It can happen to everybody, right? Right guys. Yeah, that's, uh, we don't need more public order here. The public order is uh, quite good, if I say so myself. So let's get some more money. I could use the money. And let's end the turn. Alright, that's not good. They took kayaks before I could arrive. It does mean though that uh, their forces are now divided and they have one of my books. So they are weaker now at the moment, their force. Um, well, I definitely don't want that. Let's then go for this one. Imminent rebellion again. Damn it. Alright, so they got my book. Uh, I'm really afraid of the elves at the moment. I think their early units are a lot better than my units. No, for sure. So let's go to the southern sentinels with uh, King Warkov. Hi, Queen Kalida. You are going to take this city. We're going to play it ourselves. Let's see what are we going to do over here. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's symmetrical. 
this, so we're just gonna stay over here. It's easier. Uh, no, you're not going to do that. I'm just gonna leave it to some units I don't really need very badly. Yeah, do you have it? Yeah, they have it. Uh, we're just gonna use my masses my massive uh, weak uh, what do you call it again meat shields <laughs> to get up the walls Still leave them in reserve these guys could probably do some damage from above let's uh, try to hide you a little bit over here can't really hide them but and high queen kalida and uh, Hans will be joining the fray they will go up as well all right let's start the battle Hans, go up there high queen kalida go up there everybody else pick a spot yes just all the way over there that's fine arches i need you over here and start doing some damage on the walls these guys I'm gonna hold on together with the Necropolis Knights till the gate is destroyed. Let's look at this battering ram. Oh, looks awesome. Yeah, that looks uh, deadly there. Looks really... Oh, the <laughs> it isn't, even has some blades on the side, but I'm not sure if that's gonna do anything. Right, they're now all shooting it. Ah, damn it, we've got a clan red spawn here. They're already shaken though. Let's try and uh, take them out. They're broken already, but it's a big chance they're gonna come back. Now, what spot is free? Where did I put you guys? Over here, right? Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go back. You guys make sure they're not gonna come back. Well, I Queen Kalida is already up there. Hans will be up there soon. Let's uh, start taking out some rats, shall we? There you go. That's doing it. <laughs> They're already ravering uh, because of that. Man, this spell's really, really strong. I gotta stop saying that, do I? Oops, some more clan rats over there in my line, so let's use these to attack them. No, I want you to keep going. Don't bother about these clan rats. Keep going with the, with the thing. With the thing, you know. Right, it seems that Queen ha uh, Kalida has single-handedly gotten over the walls and is now conquering the walls. Ans is up here as well, of course. Let's get them up there. But the rest of my units are now arriving on the walls. So, then uh, for some trouble. You guys, get through the ramps. Get those gates. Alright, now it's time for these guys to join the battle over here. It's safe enough now. What do they have up here? Their leader. Alright. I really like these meat shields because you can just use them and they're it, it doesn't really matter if you lose these you can easily replace them quite quickly so they're really uh, s suspensible am I saying that right I'm feeling like I'm getting worse at English for some reason suspendable yeah I think that that's it <laughs> sorry that must be really cringy. Alright, let's go. Queen Kalida and Hans get some mayhem going over there. How's it going? Let's get these guys uh, on the ground, shall we? Whoa, look at all those arrows flying, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's see, let's throw you in over here. You as well. Go over there. Let's 
get these uh, units a little bit close, so. Let's finish these guys off. There you go. Right, we have destroyed the gate, so now we can go in with the rest of my units. Just uh, continue. Oh no, I already lost 150 men. That's not that bad. Let's uh, finish off these the guys uh, who are holding the gate. These men look really really cool. Or men skeletons or some shit. Like that. Yeah, let's finish them, shall we? What are you doing outside? And you, I thought I s let's just get them up here. They're not doing what I want. Ooh, that's got a sting, right? Let's get you up there. I said, let's get you up there. Hans, where are you at, bruh? Come over here. These guys. Let's go over there. Let's make sure they're not gonna come back. These guys are not the best, but they are doing some damage. Yeah, they already killed 100 men and they're really annoying to the enemy, I guess. Hans, get over here, you crazy goat. Come on. Alright, they're not uh, that good against spearmen though. Where the hell? What are you doing on the walls? Ah, these guys. I was looking for you. Come over here. Need to join them. Come on, let's finish up that leader quickly. Yeah, there he goes. Now the rest should be... Yep, there they go. Victory! That wasn't that bad. Oh, Queen Kalida is really cool. I, I can just throw her around, put her, throw her in some enemy units, and she can handle them, uh, herself quite good. Asaf is beloved. Ah, a little bit of money. Uh, feather, foe, torque, something like that, and a rank, that's nice. Let's occupy it. Not gonna repair this, because if they attack it the next uh, turn, then it's all gonna be for nothing. Right, I got some barracks here, so I can just destroy these, then I don't have to repair it anymore. And it's better, I think, to have yeah, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not sure, though. I really have to figure that out later, if it's better to have the barracks in my main cities or in my little villages, I'm not sure yet. Normally I don't build that many barracks, but like I said before, for this campaign, I'm gonna need to build a lot of barracks if I want to have a lot of men. Right, Prince Hans has leveled up again. Let's uh, just put all of your points in this one for now. Winkelida has leveled up as well. Let's see, she has some hit points, plus 4% fire resistance, plus 50% missile resistance. But these are quite good. Right? Um, 
but I also really want the more canopic jars. So some replenishment would be nice as well. A lot of these would be nice actually. Ugh. Hey, what's this? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Plus 50% weapon damage for 23 seconds. Whoa. <laughs> That's quite good. She can really wreck some enemies if she got that. But I think we're gonna give her em embalmed in elixir for now. Alright, let's see. How much to do at the moment? It is a torn in my eye that the, the citadel of the Dusk now have carjacks. But what I maybe can do is uh, get some peace with the Skaven. I am kicking their butts, so hopefully they want that. They definitely don't want that at all. So maybe you're just going to have to destroy them and then go back to those elves. Finish them all. I don't need the obelisk, it's, it's fine. Yeah, imminent rebellion. No. Let's uh, end the turn. Well, they came out of nowhere and ambushed me, because that's what Skaven do. So I'm not really sure what I'm up against. I can't go... Uh, I can't leave because I'm in forced march. Uh, my units will be tired in battle. So if they lose this battle, they will be wiped out and I will lose King Wokov. And that's not the plan here. So I'm gonna have to fight this battle myself. And I saw quick, uh, I don't think it's a lot of units. It was two armies though, I think, that came towards me. But not full armies, so... Yeah, I really don't know. Really don't know if we can win this. And because it's legendary, I can't really pass what you would normally do in an ambush battle. Well, look at all those men there. So I have to be really, really quick about this. Right, nice, getting attacked from two sides. That's what I like to see. So the important thing here is to defend my archers. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the reinforcement. Okay. So let's get these units, get them over here. Them as well over there. And most of their men are going to be over there, I think. So let's send the arc, my archers up there as well. Then my chariots. See, they do have some Skaven Slingers over there, but... Doesn't seem like there's much more of them, so that's good. Throw them in here. I want to take them out as quickly as possible. My archers need to go up here. What do they have? Skaven slaves. If, whoa, they've got some storm vermin already. My god. Those are really good. Yeah, he's level 1, so I don't think he's going to win that. Okay, now, now is the time that these uh, clan rats are really annoying. Alright, they're gonna have to hold on. Send these guys up here. Right, time for my chariots to uh, bring the dam- Ah, damn it, this annoying little clan rats. They're making sure that my arch really can join the fight. And we need to go shoot at those storm vermin because they can really kill like all of my men, so. Uh, I think you can uh, take them on. I hope. See, they don't have skites on the side like knives, you know. That's unfortunate. Oh, this army is a little bit bigger than I thought. That's also a problem. And these clan rats are really, really annoying me. I thought there weren't a lot of rats, but actually there are a lot of rats. 
So my chariots need to bring the damage. Really try to take them down. Oh man, these clan rats are so annoying. But I am breaking them, but them here on this side. That's good. Uh, the chariots are doing a lot of damage. Quite good actually. Where are the others? Oh, they're all the way up there. All right. We're breaking a lot of their men over here. That's good. They're probably going to come back though, but that's okay. Chariots are doing great. All right. And now I got my realms of Ushitabi. And whoa look at that did you see that that killed a lot of my men <laughs> all right uh, let's just throw them in here right these need these men need to get over there you start shooting at these clan rats you get over here chariots do you know do stuff i want to break them here first and just hold the line over here keep them at bay as long as possible you can come over there. That's right. Let's attack them. How are they doing? They got 11 kills, but they're losing a lot of health. They're not as good as I thought they would be, unfortunately. Right, they're fleeing as well. Let's keep uh, shooting at the... Where are they? Storm Vermin. That's right. Nope. Start shooting at the clan red spears. Let's get in there, boy. Let's get you up here. But it seems ah, oh, they got five, 56 kills. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's cool that my units can go into, you know that they break down because of their morale's low, low but they just keep fighting when they're crumbling and then like this they were crumbling but now they are rallied again so they just keep fighting on that's really nice like that uh, let's uh, make sure they're not coming back oh forgot about these guys right i broke their uh, storm vermin over here that's good actually i broke a lot of men over here Where's my leader then? He's all the way up there. He should be taking on their leader. Alright, Archers, your job there is done. You can start shooting at these guys. Oh, he's far away. It's a shame. Right, it seems that I am winning. I'm beginning to like the Tom Kings. They're really cool. And of course, these guys don't do a lot of damage, but they are really good at holding the line though. That is their job after all. Right now they're going full flea mode. Let's see if we can kill their, uh, his leaders. Let's kill them both. I'm not sure what level they are, but let's just try and kill both of them. I don't think uh, we're gonna do that. See, my chariots are really slow because they began entired and they're now exhausted. I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, let's just try it. Put it on fast forward. That general escaped me. But he's uh, really, really damaged. Maybe after this battle, Clan Pestilence uh, wants that piece that I offered him. Let's see if we can get him to do some damage. Hmm. Nah, not really. A little bit, a little bit. The, this is really taking long, so... If he was a really high level, I would wait uh, 
until he's killed, but I don't think he's uh, really high level. I am going to wait a little bit though, because King Warcraft is here and maybe he can speed things up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. There you go. It's trapped because of the chariots, that's good. I will give it 15 more seconds. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, we're almost there. I'm just gonna... Sorry, guys. Just gonna keep hacking at him. It would be a waste to end the battle now. We almost have him. Almost. Come on. It's a tough motherfucker. Finish him. Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Alright. He doesn't want to die, it seems. Uh. Come on, Mormal. Yeah, there you go. Mormal is actually in Dutch. I'm from the Netherlands, for you guys that didn't know that. Mormal is... Uh, a so um, it's in... Uh, the, how do you call it? It's assaulting to people if you say it. Alright, it seems I lost, I lost two units. Look at the damage my chariots did. They're really great. I underestimated them. Eric Victor, I don't care, I survived this ambush. What do we need with this army? Yeah, some replenishment would be nice. Some money would be nice as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for money here. Rebellion, and it seemed that Rebellion came all the way over here, which is good. So now Queen Kalida can finish him off in like one or two turns, because I want my public order to go down a little bit more. Successful earthquake here, that's not good. Some of my, uh, some of my buildings will probably be damaged. And that, ready for duty, okay. Kill two enemies in battle, that's good. I thought I didn't kill the, that other one, but maybe it was in Force March or something. I don't know. Oh. I don't know if this was there before, but... I never saw that. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's see. Ooh, we got the Tom Guards, uh, guys. Well, Queen Khalifa is already quite strong so we could give him in the global it it will take two turns but who cares we could give him just uh, one let's just uh, give him two tomb cards and then Queen Khalifa will get the ones with the halberds So we're just going to throw one of these units away. These guys are going to throw them away. We're going to give her the tomb cards with the halberds. That's good. I think uh, we'll do it like this. Ah, damn it. I've got a lot of repairs to do and it will cost me a lot of money. Fortunate. I'm going to have to repair this building.
Uh, oh, they even got my city one level down because of that earthquake. It's a really strong. It's a, like an. It's this one Skaven who does a suicide attack and then creates this earthquake. And now my crypts, they were Mustaba, but now they're crypts again. So I lost my barracks over here, which is really unfortunate. It was nice that I got that for free. Let's see, what do we need here? We're going to need a extra public uh, building, that's for sure. No obelisk. But first we're going to build the Mortary house over here. Need to get some more growth, that's for sure. And I really need to work on my income as well. Right, let's end the turn. Those guys still raiding, got some negative growth. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there won't be happening a lot in this uh, turn because I am building up my units again. Let's throw them away. And let's uh, put them all together. It's nice, and then build two more of these. And one more of those guys. Alright. Full strength 97%. That's good. And I need to get some more money. I do have this one now. So it's getting better a little bit. Oh, that music is uh, quite nice. Much better than I expected, actually. Alright, let's enter turn. Yeah, the rebel army is still raiding, but I got my armies. All right, I got these tomb guards now. That's cool. Let's uh, make some more. They're free. Why not? Right, let's uh, finish off this rebellion if we can. We can. Hmm. Uh, get some more canopy jars. Uh, let's see. What are we going to give her now? I'm thinking we're gonna make. Ah, I don't know. We're gonna. Yeah, we're going to invest in some uh, casualty replenishment rate over here. Because it's uh, not that great at the moment. See, we can level up one of these buildings. So let's level up our main city. And then I get an unassigned skill point. Ah, King Wakaf. It's got to level 2. Eventually we can give him a Camrian War Swings. Whatever that means. It sounds cool though. Uh, let's give him indomitable will. Give him some more leadership. Right, not much else to do. And that's it guys, I'm gonna end this episode here, episode 4. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I 
do I do I am enjoying this video a lot myself uh, I mean this video this campaign I really like the Tom King so far they're really cool um, so if you like this video and you like the Tom King as well please please leave a like and if you want to see more of my content you can of course subscribe to my channel and see what else I have uh, but for now I'll see you guys next time